While I was designing this portable height adjustable bass and dip regulating table, I called one of my younger piano technician friends, who's a really good tech, and I asked him, I said, how, how high a table do you need, uh, would you like when you're regulating an action? And he's, he's over six feet. I said, how high a table would you like? And he said, how high a table would I like? I regulate crunched up in a ball on the floor. And he is so right. Regulated in action is a very uncomfortable operation. And what you're looking at here is comfort. So here's what comfort means in a regulation. Comfort means you are physically enjoying the sensation of the movements that you're, you're performing and you're in the moment and as you are enjoying this pleasure of the sensation, as you're enjoying being in the moment, that means you are performing at the top of your game or pretty darn close to it. Discomfort means you're not in the moment. Comfort means longevity. Longevity means by the time you reach 55 or 60 and you get a really nice action job and you say, oh, I really want to do this job. Oh no, I got to, I got to lift this action. How many times in and out? And now I got to lift it up onto the bench. All the, I can't do that anymore. Every time I lift it, it hurts. Or longevity means I have been approached by numerous women who have said, I'm small boned. I'm small. I'm not strong. I can't lift an action that takes me out of the game. So long, comfort means longevity. Comfort means low stress on site. You get the action all done in your shop, you bring it on site, and all of a sudden everything goes to pot. You just kind of got to get through it and get it in and get it done with because this, it's out of control. The control you had in the shop is gone which means the precision is gone and the comfort and the enjoyment is gone. Comfort also means speed and efficiency and it's, the, it's, it's not the kind of speed that you have to stress about. It just comes naturally because it's, the movements are fluid because they're comfortable. And comfort is a collateral advantage of comfort is precision. There is level of precision that I achieved now with this base that I was not able to do before because I simply did not have the comfort to do it. I mean, so comfort, this is about comfort. I love it. Working from the front and the back of the action changes how you perceive the action work that you're going to do. It changes the flow of the work, makes it much more easier and it lets you do things you would not have done previously just because it's easy to do. When I'm doing, uh, when I'm setting check, I work from both sides of the action back and forth and often when I'm setting check now I do check, springs and drop all at the same time on the, on the, on the bench and it's really a completely different way than I did it before. You don't have to do it that way, but you will find things that you never dreamed of doing before when you have different access to the action. The roll resistance is very minimal. This means that instead of working at one spot when you're seated, instead of having to move the chair, move the chair along, blah, 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 I find myself just continually moving the thing around. It's just so easy that I just, you know, I, I will move it around for different different exposures and so forth. So the base consists of very, very easily stored and moved set up like that. It's, that's it. No, no, no screws, no nothing. You arrive on site, but when you want to take it out in the shop, there you go, you're done. It automatically folds out and because it's designed as a composite, so it's got the base and the base is locked in to the regulating table, it's steady enough to work on. 
the actual functionality of it is two linear actuators which have a 12 inch stroke, a lithium ion battery, and the remote. And it's as simple as that. There is also a safety here so that it's set up that when you have the lock set, uh, when you have the legs locked, it is impossible for the, for the actuators to be energized. Um, and that is to keep the actuators from blowing the thing apart, actually. But once you let it go, this safety valve, the safety switch, releases itself and can be energized and you're, you're ready to go. So it's as simple as that. Absolutely no setup required. This is the regulating table. It's extremely lightweight. It has a handle here which makes it really easy to manipulate and carry this on site or around the shop, whatever. It's just really easy to control. And as a dip regulating table, what that means is that you can work inside the piano part of the time, you can work outside the piano, you could work however you want. <laughs> um, but you can do it in comfort and you can do it with precision. So the dip regulating, regulating or the, the elevating screws here are just located throughout uh, the bottom of the, the action frame on the the rails of the action frame, and um, you can reproduce dip with precision, either in one section or in the entire piano at once. Yeah, you do have to use technique, but it's, it can be done, and it's not hard to learn, and it's not hard. It doesn't take any. It tends to take more than five minutes to set the dip on this kind of a on this kind of a table. The aircraft aluminum has these beams and the beams in the combination of the aircraft aluminum and the beams make this pretty darn stiff. It does have some flex and that's okay as long as your technique is such that you can accommodate the flex and I can show you how to do that. The table tilts to 20 degrees uh, very easily and for capstan adjustments oh this is a little bit too high so rather than struggle with it or make do, I just change the height until it's comfortable. In the past, I wouldn't do this. You know, you just get going. You want to, don't want to take the time to change, change it and make it more comfortable. But this doesn't take any work at all. Um, and I don't even find that I have to lock, lock the table. It just is stable enough for me to work on it. And finally, this is a string height gauge, which just slides right on, or a string height target, uh, which makes adjusting check, which makes adjusting let off uh, an absolute piece of cake. So um, all the targets are adjustable, and there's a whole set of adjustable, there's a whole set of targets to, to fit different actions. We are contemplating a 15 unit production run of this regulation system. Towards that end, it would be really helpful and would be greatly appreciated if you could follow the link below this video, which would take you to a, a Google Forms survey, short survey, which will give us a sense of whether there is sufficient interest for us to make the investment in the 15 units. So I'd appreciate your feedback, uh, ideas, even if you're not interested in it, your feedback and your interest, as long as you're a professional piano technician, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.